Hi, Kevin Peel here, Labour Council candidate for Moorside at the local elections in May. And I'm recording this video to give you an update on some conversations that I've had about school places for children in our area. Last week, I shared some good news that the council had secured just short of a million pounds to remediate the Brownfield site at Seedfield. What that means is um, demolish the buildings and get the site where the old school used to be ready for development. And the plan for that site is 70 homes. They will be as much as possible affordable homes. They will be as much as possible eco-friendly homes. And we're talking to the council about making sure that there is a, a good mix there for local families uh, and not just the sort of very expensive luxury housing that we've seen built elsewhere. And we're quite confident we're going to get that because this is a council owned site. And so the council has more control over what happens with it. That's only half the site, only 70 homes. The football pitches will stay where they are. We're working with the club to make sure that their facilities are replaced and they can carry on using the site throughout the clearance and the development of the homes on the other half of the site. There'll be a full planning application in due course, probably at some point this year, where residents in the area can submit your views on the development. This is just about clearing the site and getting it ready for any potential development. What some residents raised when I shared that news uh, were concerns about school places, because our local primary schools are already full or nearly full, and we don't have a high school in our area, and parents are often finding that their children are being placed, for example, at Tottington, which isn't that easy to get to if you uh, can't make the, the bus that goes uh, either way in the morning and in the afternoon. So I had a conversation this week with the Cabinet Member for Schools, Councillor Tamar Tariq, and a senior officer in the council to talk about this issue. Um, and it's good news. So the council already know about the, the primary school issue. Um, across the borough, actually, we have more than enough primary school places at the moment, but there are particular crunch points, like in our area, um, where there's a capacity issue. Now, the council modelled this stuff out over years, and the numbers uh, for primary school places are actually coming down. Um, but in our area, there is a bit of an issue at the moment. So I've been talking to the council about it and they are doing some modelling specific to our area to look at whether either some temporary or permanent capacity is needed at one or more of our existing primary schools. And they can put that in place quite quickly if it is needed. So, for example, a few years ago at St Luke's uh, down in Red Vales, um, they realised there was going to be a big problem just before the summer holidays, worked very quickly uh, with the school and had extra places in place for that September. So that can happen quite quickly. We just need to figure out exactly what needs to be done, if anything, at the moment, or whether it needs to be something that's addressed as part of any housing development, because we've got the Tetrasil site just up the road where a couple of hundred houses are being built. It's not in our area, but it will have a knock-on effect. Um, and we've got this Seedfield site with this 70 homes as well. So the council are looking at it now, they're getting all the data together, they're talking to the leadership of the different schools. Um, and if something is needed quite quickly, it can happen quite quickly. If something is needed um, before any houses before are built and people move in, um, it can happen then. Um, I came away from that meeting quite confident that the council are fully aware of the issue um, and are able to put in place quite quickly plans to make sure that every pupil locally in our area has a place at a local primary school. On the secondary issue, that's a bit more complicated and the council are looking at that across the borough. Um, there's a new school being built in Radcliffe and that will um, reduce pressure on schools like Derby and Tottington and Elton and Woodhay because at the moment lots of Radcliffe kids are coming to schools in the north of the borough um, and that presents challenges for how it kind of all works and allocations work where we are. So that there is some work going on about that but I don't have too much detail um, but the council you know know about it. I put across the views of parents locally that kids are not getting in to the nearest or even the second nearest or third nearest school and that's presenting some real challenges. Um, so they're aware of that, they're reflecting on that 
and I hope that we will have something else to say about that in the coming weeks. But on primary places, they know about it, they're already looking at it, they listened carefully to the concerns I raised on behalf of parents, and I feel quite confident that if the evidence says that there's a need, either now or a couple of years from now when houses start coming, it can be addressed quite quickly. Also talking to Councillor Sandra Wormsley, who in addition to being local councillor is chair of governors at Chesham and she's uh, been in conversations with the school there about this as well. So thank you very much for raising the issues. We're on it. Um, we understand what you're saying and the action that can be taken will be taken at the appropriate time. Thanks very much.